In the coming months, I think there's a good chance this stock will reach $400. For any growth investor, this is a no-brainer. Invest while you can. The first 50 customers receive 50% off anything in our store for a short period of time. This offer won't be around for long, so don't pass it up. Hurry immediately to save a ton of money. Be among the first 50, so act quickly. Use the link below to shop right now. Later this month, NVIDIA will release its profits. What do we hope to find here? Have we tempered expectations? Going into them, is the bar a little bit lower? I predict that the August 28th report will be a stunning one, perhaps containing the most significant results from any company in perhaps the last four or five years. The best indicator of what we observe in terms of spending is Jensen's speech, the godfather of AI. We recently returned from Asia, where demand is always increasing. I believe this is crucial because, as the year draws to a close, we anticipate that tech will continue to rise. For this reason, we believe that as early as 2025 approaches, the NASDAQ will still be trading at 20,000. Are you referring to China or somewhere else when you claim that demand is ripping higher in Asia? I'm referring to the wider demand as seen from the supply chain and as seen from the chip's point of view. Returning to the growth scare, we just pay attention to the demand. Microsoft and the larger cloud players are visible when you look at NVIDIA. All of the messy of AI plays have been reduced to breadcrumbs. From an AI standpoint, ServiceNow is accelerating, and I believe the street is still underestimating it in relation to the figures. This is why, even if many bears have emerged from hibernation over the past two weeks, I still believe it's time to hammer the table on our tech winners. The hyperscalers have not been covered, despite the fact that we have just covered a lot of territory. Are those currently a good investment? Or are they any of the other A-benefiting fields we just discussed? Amazon is the key to the next layer of artificial intelligence. And when you look at the hyperscalers, particularly Microsoft and what Nadella has done, even Google is benefiting greatly. Microsoft must therefore be the first thing you see when you glance at that basket. We predict that Microsoft's market capitalization will reach $3.4 trillion in a year. With Jensen, NVIDIA, and, of course, Apple with Cupertino and its AI-powered supercycle, it's the godfather of AI. Wedwish Securities' top tech analyst, Dan Ives, believes that NVIDIA's stock may soon reach $400 per share. He has a number of strong arguments for this prediction. The primary motivator is NVIDIA's unparalleled dominance in the artificial intelligence industry. NVIDIA's GPUs are now crucial for enabling these developments as AI continues to transform businesses throughout the globe. NVIDIA is at the vanguard of the rapidly increasing demand for machine learning models and A-driven data centers. Here, I want you on NVIDIA. This week alone has seen an 18.5% increase in the stock. What do you think of this stock, which has risen 35% since Monday's low? Look, having one of the top beaten names and one of the top five market caps in the world is amazing. This stock is its own casino accounting for a large portion of the daily fluctuation and even intraday activity. The volume of zero days to expiration options that are traded on NVIDIA every day and the weekly options activity show that individuals are betting on the stock's next $2 increase or decrease at any given time. The amounts of options activity are in the billions of dollars. The reason I say that is to emphasize that not everything that happens on your screen is a reference to NVIDIA's core values, AI expenditures, or technology in general. Not every 10% increase or decrease is significant and may be undone in a matter of seconds. Making a decision at this moment is crucial. Do you own stock in NVIDIA? Can you ignore that intraday, 3-day, and 5-day volatility if you can? It's different for traders who might be both long and short in a same day while having a great time. However, that type of action is not what the majority of our viewers are searching for. The finest thing that NVIDIA has done this year is to avoid getting overly excited whenever the stock rises or falls. NVIDIA maintained a four-day winning streak today, rising nearly 20% this week as it recovered above a critical milestone. As NVIDIA gets ready to introduce next-generation technologies that will further secure its market domination, Ives thinks that this spike in demand will keep driving the company's stock higher. This momentum is further supported by NVIDIA's steady financial outperformance. 
the company has consistently surpassed Wall Street's projections and produced solid quarterly earnings that are indicative of its so. Tyler, I will advise you to purchase NVIDIA with caution. You'll have to wade into the water if you don't own it. The market's hottest spot is here. This stock will perform well as long as the competition for AI persists. Over the next five years, they still expect NVIDIA's earnings to expand by 40%. The stock has done admirably, rising from 48 times 2024 earnings to 34 times next year. Even with a $3 trillion market valuation, this company could rise because to the AI stimulus propelling those earnings, even if it's a cyclical sector. Dollar cost averaging is the most effective method for establishing a position here. I would want a position if you desire exposure to this market, but it must fit with your investment philosophy and discipline. Verify if the risk is suitable for your portfolio. Remember that the first 50 customers receive 50% off on anything in our store for a short period of time. This offer won't be around for long, so don't pass it up. Hurry immediately to save a ton of money. Be among the first 50, so act quickly. Use the link below to shop right now. SEMA It would be impossible to describe this week's market without mentioning the chips. Of course, Scott, in a relatively short period of time, sentiment has changed dramatically. Stocks of NVIDIA and other chip companies fell two weeks ago after a story surfaced regarding a delay for the company's Blackwell GPU. The demand for NVIDIA's existing graphics processing unit, the Hopper H100, is still very high. So it only took a few days for Wall Street analysts to realize that a three-month delay would not significantly affect profitability. As we get closer to NVIDIA's earnings on the 28th, no other company can threaten their market domination even with AMD posing a slight threat. This week alone has seen a 177% increase in NVIDIA shares, the largest week since May of last year. This has helped the EGFs that follow these stocks as well as the larger semiconductor industry. However, AI is not the end of the tale. Additionally, NVIDIA has a strategic presence in other, quickly expanding industries including cloud computing, driverless cars, and gaming. Their cutting-edge developments in data processing units and AI chips are increasing their cloud in these industries and creating new sources of income. Ives notes that the foundation of his optimistic outlook on NVIDIA's stock is the company's diverse development plan. The company is thriving in several high-growth markets, which distinguishes it from rivals. It is not just about being the best at one thing. As the business builds on its leadership in artificial intelligence and other cutting-edge technologies, Investor sentiment toward NVIDIA is still remarkably optimistic. The stock's price is rising as more and more investors flock to it. NVIDIA's remarkable financial performance and strategic posture, along with the high level of investor interest, Ives thinks, create a perfect storm that will cause the stock to rise to $400 a share in the upcoming months. Since everything is in place for NVIDIA to keep growing, this price objective is not only possible but also likely to happen. Welcome back to Asterisk Fast Money Asterisk All Right. This week was the best since March 2023 for the semiconductor industry, which is booming. Al, random statistics for $400. Since Monday, the SEMAD ETF has increased by over 10%, with all fund members seeing gains. Taking the lead in the gains, NVIDIA has increased by almost 19%. Even though Intel only made a 5% profit, its stockholders are likely just relieved that the company is now profitable. What do you think of this huge comeback and NVIDIA's 18% increase, Tim? It's stunning indeed. But Brian, that's a whole other story with Intel. In my opinion, semiconductors are up roughly 23% if we take the intraday low from August 5th, Black Monday in Japan. Additionally, I would revisit their July 11th top, which occurred just before the release of the CPI data and served as a wake-up call for the broad market rotation. Additionally, it served as a reminder that these assessments were reasonable. In this context, NVIDIA in particular has continuously delivered strong performance. Is it their intention to maintain that level of leadership? Recall that the QQQ outpaced this SPI, and as long as semiconductors were outperforming it, that was a bullish formula that said markets were going to rise. The jury is still out as of right now. The relative underperformance at AMT has been significant, as I've attempted to point out a few times. 
Investors are doubting if AMD's product line is prepared to compete with NVIDIA's at the very least. Over the past six months, AMD has lagged the SAMAG ETF by roughly 35%, and despite this recovery, it has remained quite stable in relation to the sector. What do you think about the semiconductor rally, Mike? It was an amazing comeback today.